Hi guys, welcome to Belfast City Centre. Um, we're going to check out the brew pub installation we did for Bell's Brewery and the Deer's Head, which is opening real soon, and we're super excited about that. Come on in and check it out. We're giving you like a, a preview access to what we've created here. The pub isn't actually open, it's just about to open, but it's been a complete refurbishment. They've brought this building back to life. They've invested and reinvigorated in the history, the brewing history that's in this area to bring you something really special. And I think once we get the lights on and get the equipment checked out, you'll see exactly what we mean. So welcome to Bell's Brewery in Belfast. A traditional brew pub, an exciting time because it's the first brew pub to come to Belfast, first genuine brew pub to come to Belfast. And it's also the first copper brewix in Europe. By copper, I mean it's, it's actually covered in a layer of copper, not only the production side of things, on the hot side of things, but also on the cold side and fermentation. So all the fermenters and the bright tank, even the loiter ton are covered in copper. So it's got that real super premium uh, feel. And we've lacquered this copper in a high lacquer, which means that it keeps it that beautiful rose color all the time. This has been a great project for us to work on because it's where we're from ourselves. And for us, it's exciting to be able to work with someone with vision locally that wants to take the brew pub thing to a new level and to the possibilities here to transform the landscape for how beer and Irish craft beer is enjoyed in Belfast city centre and the wider part of the province. Bell's Brewery has a lot of history. There's a lot of brewing history in this area and it's great to see that nostalgia and history being brought back to life. The team at the Deer's Head, um, they're obviously involved in the drinks industry. They own bars and have been involved in drinks distribution for a long time. And they approached us and said that they had this idea that they wanted to bring the history back to life in this area and got us involved in the process right from the very start. So if you look around this building, you can see that there's a lot of thought has went into the the layout, there's a lot of thought has went into the practicalities of brewing in here. We wanted to, to, to immerse people in the brewing experience. So if you can imagine that you're sitting in the brewery on the other side of these glass windows, you can see the brewer behind the glass windows walking around in here, working with the fermentation tanks. If you're lucky enough to be here when there's a brew going on, you're actually going to be able to watch a full brew day taking place. That comes with some challenges because obviously there's certain safety regulations, fire safety to take into consideration. And in a brewery environment, there's gonna be a lot of steam and a lot of noise. So we've had to install an extractor fan, um, as you can see here, which extracts all the steam out during the brew process. We've had to ensure everything's hygienically finished. So we've had to ensure that there's a certain level of fire protection. Not that there's, like the likelihood of a fire in here is almost zero, but you know what regulations are like nowadays. So you just have to ensure that these things are done properly. The visual aesthetics then of the brewing equipment. So I think everyone will agree that this Brewix uh, Rose Copper is absolutely stunning. And there's been no expense spared in, in the finishing of this product. So not only has it been extra cladded in copper, but the copper's been lacquered to that high shine finish. So you'll see lovely, um, you know, the subway tile finish walls, and you'll see that there's a lovely hexagonal floor, um, chemical proof floor, and then obviously the stainless steel channel drain. So we wanted to ensure that this was visually pleasing but also practically easy to work so we have the drain installed through the center of the brewery the whole length we have the extractor fan at that end we have electrical points at both ends with the three phase electricity should we decide that we want to move the layout of the brewery around or to allow for expansion and then we have the tanks we wanted the tanks to be you know, eye-catching from all angles within the brewery. We also wanted the production side to be eye-catching. So we've laid this out in a way that allows the consumer to come in, not only enjoy the quality of the liquid that's being produced in-house, but to, to immerse themselves in that experience. And that's important because 
it's a sensory experience then so you're investing yourself into an experience when you come in here so you're getting the taste you're getting the smells you're getting the visuals and that is something that the modern consumer in craft beer wants to get there's an authenticity about this here and the staff here are passionate about the quality of the beer they all know how the beer is brewed they've watched it being brewed on site and then the customer buys into that experience and for us that's really important because we're facilitating that by installing the equipment and then providing the ingredients ongoing so where getter brewed would add value in this is that we've been doing this for a long time now since 2013 we have knowledge in the industry we know how to install brewing equipment and we know how to create recipes provide technical support to train staff so we can help you at every stage of the process and we can ensure that you're making a consistent and high quality liquid and for us that's the important bit because if the customers impressed with the quality of the beer that they're drinking then they're going to return time and time again so if we start at the hot side of production um, the Brewix microbrewery system is a true plug and play system so you can see that both the mash and kettle and the loiter and whirlpool vessels are on wheels and they arrive like this obviously well packaged you wheel them into place plug yourself in to the three phase have a water supply and you can literally plug and brew this is your mash tun but also doubles up as your kettle so you put your water into the main part of the kettle you mash your grains in and uh, there's a mix patented mix mashing technology so it mixes during the mash and that process will go on for approximately one hour you then transfer your mash over here to your loiter ton and your loiter ton double jobs as a loiter ton and a whirlpool what's happening there is you're taking your mash you're transferring to the loiter ton and then we have a spray ball technology here so we'll connect a tube from the kettle which has a heat exchanger which heats up your sparge water and you're spraying a fine mist on the top of the grain bed that's being transferred over here and what we're wanting to do at this stage then is loiter using vacuum taking the wort that's created from the mashing process and transferring it back over into this vessel so this is as i had said it's a mash and also a kettle so then we're, we're back over here and at this stage what we want to do is bring the wort to a rolling boil so we'll heat that up there's uh, heating elements built into the vessel here and it's steam jacketed so it's heating up the heating elements with the, the water that's in the jacket. We have a condensing unit attached here, which we can attach uh, cold water into, which should throw the majority of the steam being created onto the floor. But because this is a busy city centre pub environment, we wanted to make sure that the windows weren't going to steam up. So we put a really good high spec extractor fan in above the Brewix to ensure that the visual aesthetics of enjoying the brew day weren't affected at any stage. After the boil process is complete, you would take that to a cooling process. So what you want to do is cool the wort down to a temperature suitable to transfer to one of the fermenters. The unique thing about the Brewix system is, is that the chiller is built into the walls of the unit here. So there's uh, stainless steel coils that run around the main walls and it's a counter flow heat exchanger, so the hot wort goes through the stainless steel coil and cold water goes around that coil. Now the unique thing here about Brewix is the water that's generated from that cooling process can be put back into the kettle. So you're using the water that's been heated from the cooling process, which is suitable for mashing in for your second batch. So a lot of people using Brewix with double batch brew, do two brews in the one day. That can be fast tracked by using the water that you've generated from cooling your first batch, then mashing your second batch. So a real thumbs up in terms of the economical and environmental savings that can be created doing that. 
Equally, you could use that warm water for CIP and or cleaning the brewery um, after that process has taken place. So your loiter tun is also your whirlpool. So whilst that boil process is taking place, you will clean this out and remove the plates. It's all easy to lift out and easy to work with. At that stage then, when the whirlpool, the wort comes in and it's whirlpooling, you may decide to add hops at the whirlpool process for those type, type of beers that, that need that, like the New England IPAs. And then it's pumped around the counter flow chiller. All this is carried out in transferring between the two vessels using a really high quality uh, pump which is built into the base of the Brewix. That the pump can be regulated so you can change the percentage of which the pump is switched on to allow for the flow at a high rate or a slow rate depending on what part of the process you're at. Obviously you're going to want to transfer from your loiter ton into your kettle at a slower rate than you are from your kettle into your whirlpool. So flexibility is there with the touch screen um, seven inch screen which is built into the Brewix system. Obviously you're going to want to have your brewery hosing uh, connected from the counter flow chiller to one of your fermentation vessels. So let's take a little walk over and check out the fermentation vessel. So this is a bright beer tank. This is a um, small experimental cylindrical conical pressurized tank which is allowing for experimenting with new brews and creating those one-off specials. And this is a, one of the cylindrical conical full-size um, tanks that you'll use. So triple layer stainless steel, and then they're clad in copper. So the cooling stripes, as we call them, they run all the way around the vessel. And not only do they run around the top of the vessel, but they also run around the cone. That means efficiency savings for you and quicker cooling times. Brewix tanks as standard always arrive fully furnished. What extras come with this? So there's always a manway on the top. You can spec to have a manway on the side if you so wish. Um, it can be a stainless steel manway, it can be a glass manway. That's um, decisions that you can make at the ordering process. We then have a CIP ball um, connection here, which obviously is used for cleaning during the cleaning process. And then we have our um, pressure release valve on the top of this arm, and this comes down into a spunding valve for um, use during fermentation. And we have added extra ball valves and things should you wish to take your CO2 outside or should you wish to um, run that into a bucket for fermentation here rather than using your spunding valve. Also comes furnished with a pigtail sampling valve so you can take a sample of the beer um, for testing during fermentation and to check when complete. As standard again comes with the butterfly valves and if you want some um, added extras added in relation to size of those valves to suit your brewery setup or you just want everything to be tri clamped for example we can make all those adjustments as standard with these kits we also have the digital uh, display which links into the back so solenoid valves in the inlet and outlet to manage the flow of the glycol for chilling and regulating the temperature of the beer. All of this is wired back to a power cabinet and control panel. The difference with Brewix is that we provide all of this in the price of the fermentation tank. What we're trying to get across here is that this is a, a true plug and brew package. So not only does the hot side of production come on wheels ready to plug in and get going, but the fermentation tanks arrive fully furnished and we wire them into a power cabinet which regulates the temperature digitally at the touch of a button. The thing with Brewix is I've visited the factory, I know the family business well, so Demir and Moitra, husband and wife team, they really care about the quality, so this is a European stainless steel handmade, it's not machine welded, it's done by craftsmen based in Slovenia and I think you'll agree when you look at the finish of the welds and the way that they've managed to 
bring the welding of stainless and copper together. This is craftsmanship at its very, very best. So I guess for me, um, working on this project has been great that we've been trusted um, to take it from design right through to finished um, brewery and to help with the operational starting of that in designing recipes and creating beer. And quality and consistency is right at the forefront of that, so we want the liquid that's made here to blow you away. So I guess for me, the, the bit that really is satisfying is that they're making the beer in-house and they're able to take the beer that's made in-house and put it into the draft taps that are literally just across at the bar. So that's Bell's Brewery, um, the brew pub we've installed at the Deer's Head in Belfast. I think it'll, uh, everyone will agree what a beautiful system that is and how well it's going to be received by the locals here. So thanks so much for watching and if you have any interest in setting up your own brew pub, don't hesitate to get in touch and we can take you through it step by step and help you like we have done here. Happy brewing.